Today is the 13th of November, 2010. One year ago, on this date, I was in the operating room at Stanford Medical Center for Deep Brain Stimulation Surgery, or DBS. An implanted pulse generator, or IPG, was surgically placed just below my right collarbone and is hardwired under the skin up to the two entry points at the top of my head. When it's on, the tremor is optimized. There's virtually no tremor in my right hand. By turning it off with a remote control, you'll see what my condition would be without the DBS. The first two attempts to push the correct button failed, but the third attempt worked. The stimulator is now off. Within seconds, you'll see the tremor return. My tremor is a resting tremor, which means when I initiate action with my right hand, the tremor dissipates. When the action stops, the tremor returns. Another visible symptom of Parkinson's is the inability to walk normally. With the stimulator turned off, my body is stiff and I shuffle when I walk. Turning around is difficult and my balance is poor. I don't dare try to hold a cup of hot coffee right now. I don't think you can see it, but close up you'll notice that my face has dropped significantly. I can really feel that at this point. I want to turn the IPG back on now, but I need to put it in my left hand. My right hand would be banging against my chest too much. Within seconds of switching it on, the tremor subsides and virtually disappears. I don't turn the stimulator off very often, but it is definitely an attitude check when I'm feeling frustrated or depressed. Thank God I live in a time with this kind of technology.